Mr. Chef, this is not on our diet. No, we a greasy spoon in it today. Mm -hmm. Boo! Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Hear the dogs howling. It's a full moon outside. And I went to my favorite uh, Mexican store today, La Michoacana Meat Market. Now, today we're going to be cooking up some good stuff. Now, there they have a pre marinated skirt steak here for fajita meat, beef. We got some fajita chicken breast here, cut thin. And I also got some of these here thin uh, cross cut, these are actually pretty thick, cross cut ribs. We're gonna do some poblano peppers, some onion, and I'm also gonna make here some hominy, Mexican style. Join me! Shall y'all? Okay, so we open our big can of hominy here, pozole. This is uh, the top here. We're going to save the top. I'll pour just a little bit of the water out of the top. Uh, Mr. Chef said that this can here is a number 10 can. This is several pounds, like six pounds worth. She said this is enough to feed Santa Ana's army. It may be. Now we're going to cook this right over the charcoal out there. So first thing we're going to throw in there is some butter. Ooh, almost got the camera on that one. Then we're going to throw in here some cumin. You just stick this whole can right over your charcoal to cook. I do this all the time when I go camping. It's a great dish. You don't need no pot or pan. Oh, next thing I'm adding in here is some hatch pepper salt. It's kind of spicy, so uh, hopefully it won't burn our mouths off there. And then I got a couple of uh, bouillons of caldo de pollo we're going to put in there. We're going to put that right over the coal. Okay, so I... Uh, Dropped that uh, manteca in there and it kind of jizzed on the screen of the lens, so I cleaned that off there. But I've got the uh, bouillons in there, the caldo. And I'm gonna have one more thing here, some Fiesta extra fancy chili powder. We need some chili powder in there. Let's bring some of that in there. And uh, we're gonna get this little stir in the can and throw it right over the coals, I'll show you. Okay, so for our El Carbone, we're gonna use 100% mesquite charcoal briquettes. Burns hotter and lasts longer. La Spiralis. So that there's not a uh, briquettes, it's actually uh, lump charcoal, nice. Now this charcoal may not love you long time, but it will last you long time so my fingers are burning mr chef these are gonna be some spicy poblanos mm -hmm. now i like using poblanos instead of green bell peppers for fajitas it's so much better flavor i don't know why anybody would use a green or a bell pepper period i mean the red's okay for color but this is more authentic and tastes so much better when you're making fajita get your poblano pepper and they're cheaper than a bell pepper So here's what we're grilling on tonight. We got this cross cut short rib here. Look at there, look at there. Mm -mm. We got this beef, marinated beef fajita meat here. Mm -hmm. We got poblano chiles and some onion, savoy. And then we got here some uh, pollo, some, you know, this is chicken breast marinated. And uh, this is gonna be delicious. And uh, let's go get cooking on it and I'll uh, show you what it looks like when it's cooked. So when you're camping, the hominy is such a great side dish. It's a good starch, and you, if you don't want to have to make rice and all while you're camping, it's a great starch. And this whole can, this number 10 can, six and a half pounds worth, was three dollars. So it's a very cheap alternative to feed a lot of people. Uh, because the meat at Michoacan is not cheap. That's why you get your little side dish like this to balance out the cost. Ooh, that's one big old slice of meat. Looking delicious, smelling delicious. 
Ooh, yeah, I just pulled the top off there. I'm looking delicious, smelling delicious. The chicken's going now, and we're getting close. Short ribs are D delicious. I guarantee. You.